Hello everyone and welcome back to In The Kitchen With Pen. Now, it's Friday and it's five to five and it's, come on all you Brits. Actually, it is Friday, but it's not five to five, it's five past six. And today, well, Friday, traditionally fish and chips, isn't it? I'm gonna be doing it a little bit different today. I have got my fish and it is shop bought fish I'm not going to lie, what's the point? In the air fryer, cooking away. I've also got some, this might disgust some of you Americans, mushy peas. I love these. I could, seriously, I could get a spoon and just eat them as they are. But I won't. Not on camera. Right, I've got fish, mushy peas. I've got here, I have some crinkle cut chips and at present they've been twice cooked they have had a four minute parboil and then a about 10 minute cook in the oil at 140 they're just draining then I will turn the oil up to 180 190 and cook for a final two minutes just to get the color I mean they're cooked now so it's just the color I want so fish, chips, mushy peas, tartar sauce, a gherkin, oh, and some wraps. Now you can make your own wraps if you like. I've got a recipe on the Facebook page in the kitchen with Ben. They are so easy, they are so cheap, but we had bought these, so we said, right, we'll do this tonight. So, hence, shop bought wraps. And what I'm going to be doing is a fish chip and mushy pea wrap. I will heat the wraps just for a minute, just because they'll be nicer if they've got a bit of pliability and, you know, just everything else is warm, why not the wraps? Um, so I can't actually show you anything because you know how to cook frozen fish in the air fryer. Two minutes in the microwave for the mushy peas and triple cooked chips, four minute parboil, drain, air dry, 10 minutes at 140 and then two minutes at about 190, 200. So what I'll do is I'm going to cook this and then when it comes to, <coughs> excuse me, Wrap, wrapping up when it comes to the wrap you'll be back right then we are ready to wrap and roll we have our um what they're called mushy peas so i'm gonna put this is steve's one he's not having chips in his so gonna lay the mushy peas down there like so then we're going to go in I've cooked three of these pieces of fish so it'll be one and a half pieces of fish can't even speak fish each and now the tartar sauce and I know I won't put enough on for him so the tartar sauce will go through into the other room so that he can add more on the side probably to dip to be quite honest right so there we go I really want to put that back in there right and we're going to fold it burrito style if i can so up there in at both sides I have to push it in a little bit. Oh, up, in, and then we are wrapping. Right. There you go. Almost done. Almost wrapped. And the chips, you want to see the chips, don't you? Oh, gosh. I thought I'd brought them up to drain. Right. shaking off any excess oil and I've got 
proper chip cups. Look, I love chips. Anybody wants to know where I got them from? They were a gift quite a few years ago and they came from, um, this will date them, they came from British Home Stores. So, oops, dropped him on the floor. That's no good, is it? Right, I will cut this wrap in half. Well, it's not really wrapped, it's come undone, but <laughs> nonetheless, I'm gonna cut it in half so you can see. There we go. Oh, I forgot the blooming gherkins. Oh, if I had a brain, I'd be dangerous. If I had a brain, I'd be lethal. Right, the gherkins are going in now. The gherkins are all for Steve. I don't like them. And you can see how the um, mushy peas have acted like a bit of a glue. Right, oh, rinse my hands off. Right. Look at that. Fish chip mushy pea wrap with a side of fish and mushy pea wrap with a side of chips. I'm going to take Steve's through and we'll be back to wrap mine. Moving on to my wrap, right. I know the mistakes I made with Steve's, so I don't want to make them with mine, do I? I have heavily vinegared the mushy peas they'll be out in a minute because I forgot the tartar sauce heavily vinegared the mushy peas now I'm going to go in with the fish and do you know what I'm just going to go in like that and then the chips Hopefully, this will wrap a bit better. I mean, we learn by mistakes. I mean, <coughs> just look at that chip. You saw it earlier, and look how much. Mm. Two minutes more. Made so much difference. Obviously, they were at higher temp. And I think you can hear the crispness. I hope you can hear the crispness. Right, squeeze that down. Oh. oh, yes. A fish chip and mushy pea wrap. Right, I'm going to clear up a little and uh, we'll be back for the taste. Right then, time to taste. And fingers crossed I don't get covered in mushy peas. Right, fish, chip, mushy pea wrap. A different take for fish on Fridays. It's, it's hot, that's why I'm doing that. Right. Mm. The soft texture of the mushy peas, the crispness of the batter on the fish, and then the soft fish in the middle, and then, of course, the lovely chips. Look, I could break them. If I squeeze, there you go. Crispy outside. Nice fluffy middle. I think if I had a food truck, I'd probably do something like this. Something typically British. This and Yorkshire pudding wraps. Hmm. Right. I need to go and eat this now. 
Fish on Fridays will never be the same again. Thank you for watching this edition of In the Kitchen with Pen. Oh, even get me little forks with the chip pots. So there you go. Thanks for watching this edition of In the Kitchen with Pen. I've hoped you've enjoyed it and I shall see you again very soon. Bye for now.